We're talking about the promise that Jesus made about getting the most out of life and how you have what it takes to be a party starter. We're not talking about an actual party, but instead any effort to celebrate, serve, or enjoy others in a way that adds value to life. We all need people who show up and care and go above and beyond what's asked of them. Those people are the true party starters. Doing more than what is asked of us isn't always easy, and we notice when others do it for us. But it's always easier to do the minimum than to go above and beyond. Doing the minimum doesn't always come from a bad place. Sometimes we're tired and can't give to someone else. The extra effort doesn't seem like it would actually have a benefit. Maybe we're scared that we'll mess up or embarrass ourselves or do or say the wrong thing. Sometimes we're not motivated. We all sometimes do the minimum. But there are, but are we wanting to be the people that do the minimum? See, because of Jesus, we know that part of living a party starter life is choosing to go the extra mile. Everything about Jesus's life, his death, ministry, resurrection, was all about going the extra mile for those that he loved. Paul wrote, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. See, Jesus didn't wait for us to ask or prove that we deserved it, to show our gratitude or to get it right. He went the extra mile. He called us to follow his example and to do the same for others. In the time of Jesus, the Roman Empire was in control. And when it came to the Jewish people who weren't Roman citizens during this time, Roman soldiers could demand someone to carry their belongings for a full mile. Jesus' response to this was, if anyone forces you to go the mile, go too with them. In today's world, walking a second mile with someone means going above and beyond. It means doing more than the minimum. A party starter does more than what is asked of them. It's important that we don't do so much for someone that it causes us harm. We need to have a healthy boundaries to know when we've done enough or when we don't have much to give. Jesus isn't asking us to do something out of obligation. He's asking us to partner with him to do more for others whenever and however we can out of love. What do we do with all of this? If we wanna be party starters who do more than what is asked of us, where do we start? Well, I think a great place to start is with the question we need to ask ourselves. What kind of person do we want to be? Do we want to be someone who does the minimum or do we wanna be someone who goes the extra mile? Before you can move forward, you have to decide who you want to be. Then, do something you don't have to do. It's okay to start small. Remember, the extra mile will look different for each and every one of us for, in every situation we're in. So think about just one way you can choose to go the extra mile this week. What do you think would happen if you did more to help around the house? What might it look like if you were generous and kind with someone who was lonely? What if you did something unexpected to help a teacher at school? What can you do to help a friend who you know needs help? And finally, remember that sometimes you need to let someone else walk with you. Sometimes you need someone to go the extra mile for you, and that's part of life. So if that's where you're at right now, don't be afraid to speak up. In fact, please reach out and ask someone that you know that you know loves you for help. Consider talking to them about how, how you can walk with each other through this difficult time. So a party starter does more than what is asked of them. And that's what I hope you'll consider doing this week. So what's one way that you can go the extra mile for someone else this week?